Construction Simulator 2. It's a review for the Xbox One, probably the PS4 and the PC as well. I think they'll be the same. £12 sterling, probably about $18 US, maybe €15. Euros. This is a little intro about what you can expect to see in the game. By the time I get to the end of this, you're going to decide if you want to buy this or not. But it's only a budget game, so I'm not going to be too harsh. I'm not going to criticise it too badly. Uh, I'm not going to really criticise it at all, to be honest. So firstly, a, a look at the menu here. This is your main menu. Uh, how you can set things in the game. I would have the finance cycle duration as, as long as possible. You'll find out why when you play it. The hydraulic controls don't seem to make any difference uh, <laughs> at all, whether you have them on arcade, SA, Yodo, or ISO. And this is your progress. Uh, as you progress in the game, you get to sort of unlock different vehicles and different job types as well. Uh, so it's not all laid out for you at the beginning. You do have to actually unlock things. And this is your progress and your challenges. I think some of them actually turn out to be uh, achievements on the Xbox. Some of them. But I'm not an achievement or so I don't really care about them. And this is your map. You've got the initial starting area and then you've got the others that are greyed out and you have to unlock them. I'm not really sure how but I'm sure it'll be uh, as you progress through the game. Like unlocking the vehicles. You can zoom the map in and out. It's usual standard things and you can place a waypoint. It's quite a simple map though. I don't think you're ever going to get lost. There's also a, a fast travel method in this game. And that's very simple. Uh, and Here we go to the vehicle dealer. And then you press an old the air button. And then you have to press a button again to go in there. Which is a bit strange. And it's the X button that you have to press. Which is unusual. These are the vehicles that uh, I've unlocked so far. And then there's the unlocked ones. Uh, and they've all got a tutorial, apparently. Some of the tutorials I've found have been very difficult. I'm not even going to cover that. It's not dependent on whether the, the game's going to work or not. It's just whether you can fathom out what you've got to do in the tutorial. You might have better luck than me, but I just found it a little bit incomprehensible. Uh, but I got through it in the end and uh, now onto the vehicle camera uh, which I prefer the orbit camera the tracking camera if you're looking on that that makes it snap backwards and forwards depending on what you're doing and some of the placements uh, that you have for the vehicles while you're doing jobs it's quite precise and uh, the camera makes it very awkward sometimes uh, it's up to you I, I prefer it on the orbit camera, I can position the camera where it wants and it basically stays put. So what you're actually going to be doing is you take jobs, all kinds of jobs, like transporting bulk uh, to fill holes and things like that, uh, digging holes, all of these you get paid for and all the vehicles that you're allowed to drive you can actually hire, you don't need to buy them initially, so like the big dumper truck. Uh, I hired that. The uh, the lifting truck that you load your materials with and this JCB thing, backhoe, they're the uh, vehicles you actually get for free and they never wear and they don't cost you any maintenance. And then you've got building to do. Uh, it's fairly simple, but the controls can be very tricky. Oh, and don't forget, delivering a toilet. Very important on a site. Uh, delivery bricks. So I'm going to show you uh, a mission from start to finish 
and it took me about 15 minutes. It's one of the simpler ones. Oh, and just note there, when I went to map, which I pressed by accident, it has a little loading screen before you get back to your vehicle, and that gets a bit annoying. Uh, so this is where I'm taking the contract, uh, and it's telling you what you need. Uh, quite simple, and there you go, the little loading screen again. There you go. I don't even know. That that that's just a little story. It doesn't mean anything. You just accept it and you carry on. Uh, now you've already got a JCB or a backhoe, so you need to switch to it, which is easy. And then you drive. It's that simple. It'll automatically have a a waypoint for you, and there's your loading screen again. And then you're going to drive very, very slowly to where you're going. And it's about as far away in the town as you can get from that position. So I'm going to, I'm going to cut it a little. And here we are arriving on, uh, on site. And there it's showing you how deep the hole's got to be. And now you can get that view yourself. I think you just press the Y button on the Xbox controller. Now this is where it starts getting tricky. Uh, it's a little bug here. The... The shovel went straight into the ground and I had to do it all again. Now that that's got to be a little bug. because uh, it just it just works now. Yeah, I forgot to tell you that little wheel is where you can get different functions from. And there in the bottom right hand corner, if you notice there's a camera icon. Well, that's the right stick. You click that down, and that's also sharing movement with the from the elbow to the shovel so you can't move the camera around while you're while you're excavating it makes it very awkward I'd rather see a system like they've got in uh, farming simulator where you use the bumper buttons which are virtually only used for uh, for zooming the camera in and out which is something you don't really want to do that much in a game I'd rather see the controls different than this I found them very awkward just digging this hole took an absolute age you know for the size of the hole this whole mission were about 15 minutes uh, the controls are, are, are very strange you will get used to them I should imagine oh and what, what I forgot to say is that the, you use the left stick as well so the left stick is the part you're controlling nearest the, uh, the tractor and then the elbow from the elbow the midpoint that's controlled with the right stick and then so is the bucket is controlled with left and right on the right stick yeah you get used to it most definitely but having the control shared with the camera and and the switch is on the same stick as well it just makes it very awkward if you want to just reposition your view slightly you've got to come out of the bucket control and the elbow control to use your camera it's ridiculous really so as you, as you slowly dig in you can you can see your progress uh, by the if you look at the icons at the top right hand corner you've got the guy with the number four that's your XP uh, and then there's like green going around the circumference of it and it's the same with the clipboard if you look carefully every time you're taking a shovel full out the the, the green marker that covers the circumference and the green filling on the clipboard actually moves so you can see you've got some progress but w what actually happens as you dig in like this uh, all of a sudden uh, the hole sort of empties itself and and the tasks over and then you have to clear the site with your vehicle and hopefully get paid uh, that doesn't always happen like that sometimes there must be some little bug at the moment that stops you getting paid but there is a little workaround for that and I'll show you it later if I remember but it's not a game break so don't worry about it you you will get your money I cut it there so that uh, it didn't go on too long I mean the job's finished that clipboard's now fully green and all we got to do is leave the site as soon as you drive off uh, you get paid basically so this is resetting everything this is the easiest way to do it by far 
it reset the vehicle it puts the uh, digging bit in the right position and then it gets it ready to drive and then you drive off basically usually as soon as you drive off there's a little delay and it says that after some time and there you get your you get your money simple as that but it did take a long time to do that little old now that little bug we're telling you about with the not getting paid only seems to occur with the uh, tipper jobs now that's one where it goes how it should do you basically get paid as soon as you leave the site and you've emptied the uh, the truck and this is what happens when you don't get paid uh, you can leave the site do the normal things you can go back on the site as much as you want it's not gonna it's not gonna change you're not gonna get paid uh, you, you can see your clipboards full and everything so you've got to go back to your contract don't abort the job and don't reset it either with that go to the next one which is skip construction stage and then you get paid if you press the reset uh, you, you have to go back and buy the bulk material again uh, and you don't get refunded for the money that you've already got so you essentially pay for it twice and it actually costs you money and really this is quite a grinding game the last thing you want to do is 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 uh not get paid basically or do something that's costing you money the vehicles are quite expensive uh you can upgrade your base uh and you could go look at your vehicles in the base and fix them uh i bought this big truck and really I should not have bought the biggest truck I don't think because when you go and fill it for these little jobs that you do you tend to be spending like 10,000 uh, whatever's credits on uh, on gravel <laughs> bit time you've bit time you've done the job uh, you don't make much profit don't make much sense really I don't know if it's a bug or what anyway this is uh, your vehicle bay uh, and look at the costs for the repair it, that's quite high but you can you can alleviate that by building uh, building an extension to your base and this is just some of the uh, jobs that you get to do or that I've got to do so far it, it, it's fairly simplistic but it is quite time consuming uh, there was a lot of help with that you could see the green outline and you just got near it and it snapped into position I don't know if there's a way of making that more complicated or not if you want it to be more complicated uh, I, I doubt it it'd be quite hard to do this is a compactor all these vehicles you can buy or rent by the way I mean I know I've already mentioned that and that's one where the cameras reset <laughs> which is quite difficult to use for me but again, personal prep. You see, that con that compactor was uh, preparation for building this. Uh, I had to put the concrete base down. All the shuttering was done. I had to go get a concrete truck and fill it with concrete. I hired it. And the concrete I didn't use, I got a refund for uh, however many metres square it was. So that worked out all right. Uh, and there, that's basically the whole of the procedures and the payment for it there's actually a lot to this game and and for the most part it, it works very well I think a few little niggles is all really but at the end of the day it's only £12 it's a budget game and for the money it's amazing uh, I've not got onto all the tasks so I've not done any road building or anything more complicated but it, it's, it's going to be a, a learning curve it actually feels like work though and I don't know if you've noticed these graphics remind, well they remind me of uh, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas <laughs> unfortunately that was 2004 but again it is budget and I think the graphics are not that important really this all this footage is off the Xbox One X uh, I've got a 4k monitor so I'm I'm watching it in 4k while I'm playing uh, but this footage is 1080p which is full high definition so it should still look very good 
Uh, for the money, I, I've got to say this is a hell of a lot of game and a lot of gameplay. It's just dependent on whether you're going to like it from what you've seen. I know that £12 is not a lot, but it could be to some people. So it could make a difference. Plus, who wants to waste money anyway? £12 is £12. It's a good solid game and it's I think it's worth every penny basically. No doubt about that. Thanks for watching.